So we are here. This was decorated by one of the Disney people. And this is where the presidential rooms were held at, where Elvis Presley stayed when he came and performed at the, um, the Astrodome right there. You can see the stadiums there now. But they erected this in here to be just like the dome. And every time there was a home run hit in the Astrodome, the custom scoreboard would go off, which they had right here. That's the custom Astrodome scoreboard. So you would see it would hit the home run and it would shoot all the way to the other side and say home run up there. And you can see up there. So this room was built by Hoffines. And it's made to look just like the Astrodome. And they constructed this room. They would sit up here with all the big head honchos of Houston. And they'd sit around up here and watch the game. And it had the whole screen look like um, the whole outside screen of the Astrodome kind of rebuilt in here. Now up here was a presidential suite. So this is a suite where Muhammad Ali, back then he was known as Cassius Clay, stayed when he came to the hotel in Houston. So you would come down this way and um, these are the two fountains here. This is the presidential suite right here. Of course, it had its own elevator. Some wallpaper and decoration. Now they're renovating this hotel right now. This is also one of the entrances here. Also had its own private elevator that they come up in. But um, all the greats, when they came here, they stayed in this room. And you could see Elvis was patiently waiting for his concert right there at the Astrodome. You know, he stood up here and he watched the crowd usher in to the Astrodome. NRG wasn't there at that time. But he stood up here patiently getting ready for his concert. So we're gonna go around to the presidential suite where he would have stayed at. This is the entrance right here. And this is the chamber, the hallway that leads to the presidential suites. And this is the bedroom where Elvis stayed. Elvis Presley. This is the room. So Elvis stayed in this room right here. This is a bed he slept in. There's fireplace right in the front. architectural work up in here. Every beam is engraved. I'm pretty sure his father was probably right here. If you don't know, Elvis Presley's father did a lot of his, um, all his managing. And then inside the presidential suite, he had 
this beautiful pool here. Jacuzzi and pool. You can sit right there and watch the freeway. It's amazing just to be in here to know that some of the greats in history are right here. It's a shower. Walk-in shower with doors. But the history here. This would be the pool here. I'm pretty sure he took a couple of dips, relaxed, smoked a stogie. You already know. Towels and stuff are hung here. I guess this was the gentleman's bathroom. Seems to be locked. But that was the gentleman's bathroom right there. Another bathroom there. Of course, your towel hangers here. Look at this sink. Starts with a base, granite top, and the fixtures, solid brass. And of course you put all your, probably all his jewelry and clothes are in here. Solid marble. Some more closets. It's been awesome to finally get up in here and view this history of Houston. A lot of people don't know that it's located right here off of 610, right where NRG and the Astrodome is at. And it's closed off to the general public. They got the drapery that hangs up here. And then, um, I don't know if he sat here and played chess or checkers, but... You can look at the the leather work on this chair right here. And this is also marble. But this is the presidential suite, Elvis Presley. Muhammad Ali, they all stayed in this room. Anybody that was big and came to Houston stayed in this suite, the presidential suite. Piece of history right here. Uh, I'll just set my hand here for a minute. Where Elvis probably had his glasses there. <laughs> and this is slate right here, guys. This is solid slate. I want to get close to this um, mantle over here. So you can actually see the woodwork on this mantle. It is amazing. What a beautiful mantle. And then outside the suite, this would have been Elvis's room here. And then we're gonna go back out here to another section. So this would be where he, um, actually, you know, the president of the United States sat in here with a lot of noblemen. 
And um, this room right here is just decked out. Super crown molding, tooth molding, raised panel. And I think it was President Eisenhower sat in this chair right here. And um, I'll show you guys a picture of that here later. But you could see the bookshelves just run all the way up the wall. Very important people sat in this room here. And, you know, I thought it was real important to come and film this for you guys and show you the suite here, the presidential suite. Due to the significant history, so many things were, were done here. And then when you got down to the last room, I guess this would be like the little dance room in here, you know where they had their dances and um, had their little get togethers and parties, you know, stood around, did some dancing, another bookshelf. The ceiling is just huge up in here. And then this will be where the chef actually prepared, prepared the meals for him. So the chef prepared all the meals right here cutting board they were probably cutting it up cutting up um elvis's steaks right here and uh, of course he ate everything right here watching houston traffic go by and the skyline and everything uh, another awesome awesome chairs here But yeah, guys, this was the kitchen where all his meals were prepared while he stayed here. You know, I'll get a list of some of the other um, other celebrities and famous people that have stayed here in the presidential suite. And there's a couple more rooms down here. So, this is one of the rooms right here. This is the entrance. Of course, you had the waterfall flowing right there. And then you came up in here. And this is the jungle room. Now, have you ever seen Graceland or Elvis's house? They, um, they also have a jungle room. So, the jungle room. We got stairs where we can go up there. Indoor tree. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. But yeah, this is the jungle room, guys. This is a solid statue here. So the guy's playing the Congo. I'm pretty sure Elvis spent a little time up in here. He can go up to the top and sit up there. Actually got the tree there. Another room here. This will be the Oriental room. Oriental style. So maybe his own parents or whoever was traveling with him might have stayed in the Oriental restaurant. Oriental room here. You know, it's been many years um, since they've utilized these rooms. Tarzan room. Wow. So this room, guys was decorated by Barnum and Bailey, you know, Barnum and Bailey Circus. Okay, this is in the circus room. Before you enter this room, you'll see here, PJ Barnum and Bailey. 
Barnum and Bailey Circus, which is no longer existed. The greatest show on earth. It is beautiful in here, guys. There's Barnum and Bailey right there. P.T. Barnum. And uh, everything in here was hand painted, by the way. The Barnum and Bailey restroom. You can feel the texture on the wall. It's like velvet. It's like velvet right here. This is the bathroom. So when the circus would come to town, this is the room the real Barnum and Bailey would stay in. And the bed is beautiful. Let's look at the detail. What's crazy is that I have an actual brochure. This is the big top room. I have an actual brochure from when they first opened up here at the Astro Road Hotel here. This is his first elephant, Jumbo. Barnum the Jumbo, you are, you are a humbug after my own heart. You have even beat me in advertising. He was one of the great advertisers, marketing promoters of his time. And this is the big top right here. The Big Top Circus. When that came to town, he knew the circus was in town. Of course, he probably sat here and conducted some business matters. Welcome to America. All handcrafted. Wow. Not sure who that is, Tiny Tim. But that is Mr. Barnum. Jumbo. I guess they turned Jumbo into Dumbo. But the original was Jumbo. Look how many kids he was carrying. The history of the largest elephant that ever lived. Monday, June 4th, it looks like. But yeah, this is the Barnum and Sweet right here, guys. Once again, the Apocalypto Patio, that's what this was called here.
but we got a couple more suites before the tour is done. We're walking back down the hallway here. The Lillian Russell room. So I guess Lillian Russell stayed here. TV up in the wall. Beautiful artwork. And that would be the bathroom over there. Coming back out, we got one more suite, looks like. That is the big room there. And I'll show you some pictures of this room later on. Sandy Thompson room. Sadie Thompson. Man, you talking about a blast from the past right here. This is like um, Gilligan's Island. Our beautiful NRG and the Astrodome. This is awesome in here. And this might just be a closet. These are stairs that go up to, I guess, the rooftop. Wow, guys, what can I say? trying to take it all in you know just to be in a place like this where you know these guys stayed and maybe wrote some songs Muhammad Ali was getting ready for his famous fight here at the Astrodome Barnum and Bailey getting ready getting a good night's sleep before they went out and um, entertained. They were all entertainers, whether they were boxers, singers. And then I'm pretty sure they came out here out the presidential suite. And um, watched the Astro game or two. It was the carpet. And the centerpiece. The centerpiece that looked like the Astrodome. It's still here. Trapped in time. It's like it never changed at all. And the bartenders will be behind the bar serving up the drinks for all the guests. And Astroworld was across the street, which is now parking for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Once again, this is the home run sign. But yeah, guys. That's it, a piece of history right here in H-Town. The presidential suite where Elvis Presley stayed, Cassius Clay, Barnum and Bailey. And of course, the Astrodome room right here, built by the Disney designer and Hoffines, Roy Hoffines, which actually built the Astrodome. They did an amazing job on this. And it's still here, guys. Congratulations to everybody out there that's a sports fan. Everybody that loves entertainment as far as music, sports, boxing, you name it. This is a piece of history right here. Well, guys, I'm going to have to head out. But I appreciate you for watching. And, hey, congratulations to the 2022 Houston Astros. Forever Live H-Town, signing off.